Hello everybody, this is Steve with Multisport Mojo and RideGearGuru.com. Today we're doing a product review on the Laser Blade cycling helmet uh, built for road and, uh, and, and I use it in triathlon. Uh, laser was just purchased by Pearl Izumi, acquired by Pearl Izumi, so you can find laser products in, uh, in Pearl Izumi shops, at Pearl Izumi online, I like to go to Amazon.com uh, uh, where I think you can get great prices of their products. If you go to RideGearGuru.com, you'll find uh, you'll find uh, content and articles on the laser helmets and great links to great prices on Amazon.com right from there. So this is the Amazon or the, uh, the laser blade helmet. It really it, it borrows all of its. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the package. It borrows everything. It, it, well, I, I shouldn't say borrows everything. I, it's it's the younger sibling to the Z1, if you're familiar with the Z1 now. Uh, it's, um, let me just walk through. The Z1 itself, I, I think, is about as great of a cycling helmet as you can have. It's both lightweight, the ventilation's terrific. I think it's really visible. I think the uh, visibility designs from laser keep you safe on the road or help to keep you safe on the road by being more visible. The laser makes a really comfortable fitting helmet. I have a, I wear a small, so sometimes I don't get all of the design options that a medium or a large would get. That's why I have camo, but it's got the bright yellow on the backside. That's my first camo helmet. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I was sold because uh, you know they really do focus on safety and comfort and uh, and getting you around on the road. Um, uh, in the best way they can. It's a great helmet. So I really like all the bright yellow on the backside from a visibility standpoint. So I said that uh, the, the blade itself was uh, uh, with a Z1 Junior. Maybe that's the best way to say it. The Z1 is a little lighter, uh, but I'll tell you it's, it's more expensive as well. When I look at both helmets, the cost difference for the lighter weight that you get in the Z1. For me, I went with the Blade. I know Blade is, you know, at least the next level down in this in their uh, in that product line. But it has all of the same features of the Z1. If you're familiar with the Z1, you're looking at the Z1. Blade's a, just a tremendous option. Still has all the same number of ventilation openings. Uh, still has the same uh, rotating. Uh, this little guy back here rotating so it adjusts the fit if you're familiar with a, like a Rudy helmet that has the dial on the back the laser system across all of their helmets has this dial uh, adjustment fit system which is great because when you put it on it's really easy to quickly adjust I would say that um, I've ridden this on uh, two rides right now or so far I, I just picked it up uh, about a week ago uh, is a really comfortable helmet has a really light uh, fit to it which was surprising I I hadn't uh, bought or worn a laser helmet before I just knew uh, of the uh, the reputation that laser helmets had and so I was a little leery in going from a Z1 down what I thought was down to a blade uh, I tried both the Z1 and the blade on I couldn't tell the difference in the story you can tell a little difference in the weight really not in fit or the helmet itself uh, for me it was well for me it was either getting a medium and a z1 or the small which was the better fit in a blade um, so uh, let me show you the inside is really has a, a minimal uh, fitting system and I think that when you wear it uh, you can I would saying that you could feel it on your head isn't really doesn't justify it it really it doesn't feel like there's anything up there uh, there's there's enough padding but it's minimal padding all on the right spots it doesn't feel like you got a pillow wrapped around your head or sitting on your head uh, the the uh, fitting system on the inside controlled by the lever again is is uh, pretty sleek it fits really uh, gently but nicely on your head and then again the lightweight um, the lightweight feel of the helmet uh, uh, is great on a ride plenty of ventilation I, uh, I got uh, you know I, I live in Arizona 
pretty warm days even in September. Uh, not a lot of breeze, and, uh, and I, this was uh, this was a very comfortable ride for me. I think it's a great looking helmet just from a just from a design standpoint. A very aerodynamic, of course. Great visibility from the back. That's the uh, that's the laser blade helmet. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's you can read more about it on RideGearGuru.com. We've got links from the helmet that'll take you to Amazon for great prices. Thanks so much. Have a great day.